Hello everyone, this is VTOLZ32, your friendly neighborhood deck reviewer back again with another card class. This is the Bicycle Carnival Earthtone 9 versus the Devo Blades Midnight Edition as requested by Manos321. Make sure you go check out his channel. And let's have a look at them. We'll start with the Carnival Earthtone 9. There's your friend of the box, it's Bicycle. Carnival Earthtone 9 playing cards. It's got an increasing thinness. It's from Big Blind Media, of course. And there's a link on top here. Your back design and your bottom. Oh, there's standard, no reveals. Inside, you do get a double backer. The cards have, well, kind of an earth tone type feel to them. <laughs> and you get an, an ad card. Earth Tone 9, by the way, is a band by one of the big blind media guys. The cards do have basically black faces. The pips kind of have a, well, kind of a dirt or earth or almost grass type look to them kind of interesting for the clubs and the spades hearts and diamonds are in a red color again though they kind of rough they're not you know nice and perfect court cards kind of standard again they got a darker color in the box not white and they're kind of a little bit worn out faded some extent, mainly worn out, they're not really faded. Ace of spades, just like on the box, pretty cool. Jokers, fairly similar to the ace of spades. All the aces are custom, kind of cool. And and that's that. And the backs do have kind of dark borders to match the faces, so that's good. They handle pretty nice, as you can see. Although they're beginning to chip. But that's a okay. <clears throat> uh, the blades, Minute Edition, looks like most other blades, says Devo on top, blades on the bottom, it's got that dark figure on there, and it says Midnight Edition on the one side, high performance finish on the other side, and blades on top, For air, it says Midnight First Edition on the barcode, no axle reveal. And then the back design on the back, and no seal, like the other ones. And a little star. It's kind of cool. These ones are also black faced cards. You do get a blank card, which actually has the Blades logo on the other side, handlords.com. And then you get, if I recall correctly, Yes, you get two different aces of spades. You get this one, which has a hand ripping through the spade pip, it says blades under here, and it's pretty cool. And the other one is a more standard one with a more rounded pip, it says blades on the bottom, and then it's got that dark figure in there. So you get two different aces of spades, that's kind of cool. Court cards, fairly standard. Whoa. Red and black. Red pips on the red ones. Same with the number cards. Like most other black cards. White pips on spades and clubs. The jokers, just like in the other decks. I saw if I'm a little bit shaky, it's just I'm I had some coffee and it's starting to wear off. <laughs> but there's one joker with the guy pointing the sword at you. 
your black, your club and spade court cards are kind of cool. They actually got black pips with red and white borders and lots of red and white on them as well. And then the other joker is just the guy kneeling, getting ready to attack you basically. And, and then the back design, it's pretty cool, nice uh, compared to some of the original Blades decks. It's more simplistic and nicer, cleaner, it's always appreciated. Compared to other black decks like say the Black Ghost or the, uh, I got a bent card here, or the uh, Saddle Masters or whatever, this one is nicer because it actually has colors on the court cards and they actually incorporated black pips on the black court cards and I mean they got reds and everything on all of them not just some of them usually those other ones from Illusionist they're just black and white flat out these ones at least they got color they incorporated black pips in the court cards along with red and white borders and jokers are pretty cool and you do get two aces of spades, the original one and a kind of cool <laughs> alternative. Handling wise, let's have a look. Oh yeah. They had a really nice, I'm not sure if they got a magic finish on them, I assume they do. That's what performance coding might be. They're pretty cool when you spread them and fan them, obviously. Um, again, it's really cool, it's really difficult. But I think, personally, if I had to choose one of these two decks, I think I would go with the Blades in that edition. It just seems to handle a little bit nicer. It's got a nice clean back design compared to the Carnival Earth Tone 9, which is kind of wild, kind of like the rock band, I guess, that it represents. And it's kind of hard to make out what exactly it's supposed to be about. <laughs> and then the faces, nothing wrong with that. One thing I'm noticing for sure, uh, at about the same thickness, but the Carnival seem a little bit thicker. Could just be me though. And then I'm not crazy about these weird multicolored pips that they use. It's nicer than having white pips, but at the same time, it's a little bit weird. And the red ones, they're okay. Court cards, they're not bad. The Jokers are kind of wild again, <laughs> as are the Aces on the Blades deck. I mean, uh, the Carnival deck. The court cards, you know, the standard except that they they got kind of white faces on there but fairly standard color at least this one the midnight edition compared to other black decks it's really nice the court cards kind of pop a little bit they're nice and colorful and bright and the jokers are of course cool the aces spades you get two of them that's a bonus so i think i would have to go with the blades midnight edition without a doubt on this one and that is this card, and that is the card class for today. Again, go check out Manos 321. The next card class coming up is going to be the Verve versus the Crown. I'll compare like all three colors and everything. And then later this week will be Bicycle Raider versus a Bicycle Pirate. That's on Thursday. And I'll compare again both colors, both decks. And then there's all sorts of good stuff coming next week as well. <laughs> so that's what I've got. And I might actually do a deck review as well right away. Stay tuned for that. And I'll see you next time.